Hey everyone, it's Jess from Propeller Wellness. How is everybody? <coughs> I hope you are well. <laughs> I swear, I was doing just fine. Um, I'm excited because my Dolphins just beat the Jets with a 50-yard field goal. We are going to the playoffs, so I'm in my lucky Merino jersey. It was at my sister's this whole time. Every time I win this, win this every time i wear this miracles tend to happen so i knew i had my lucky jersey on i have another merino jersey but they told me to wear this one i have uh one that's it's another merino one but it's it's older anyway <clears throat> i'm excited so i'm doing the weekly for this week your weekly encouragement message so yes 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 and i'm using my mermaid tarot deck because it's got dolphins in it so let's see and see look 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 it's got dolphins in the back I wonder if we're gonna get a card with dolphins on it. That's gonna be a big sign, at least for me, if we do. Anyway, I hope you guys had a wonderful new year. Um, <clears throat> I wanna make a quick mention that um, I'm doing, I'm making some huge changes to my channel. I had a lot of epiphanies. I talked to my guides and they're like, you're going to change things up just for 2023. Uh, I will make another announcement probably on my community page <clears throat> later on. Um, to my members, uh, I was supposed to mention it earlier today, but I got caught up in the Dolphins game, so <laughs> priorities. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, yeah, so I'm changing things up on my channel, and I'm going to be adding some new things to um, my website, um, mentorship. Um, they're not classes, kind of like a, a year round academy. I don't know if I'm gonna call it that, but for Twin Flames and another one just for soul growth. So be on the lookout for that stuff and a whole bunch of other things, okay? So, but for this week, and remember, even though I'm saying this is for the week of, I lost track of time, January 8th, 2023, it could still be timeless, all right? Because you can watch this a year later in 2024. January 8th and it can still apply all right so keep that in mind and remember time is fluid energy is always changing just because I say this week does not mean it's gonna happen this week or whatever if it doesn't resonate it doesn't resonate for you at this time all right so don't get caught up in that stuff so we're gonna get right to it we're gonna see what our weekly encouragement message is for this week for January 8th 2023 Holy Spirit Archangels Galactic Families played in series Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Wow, and this one went to the deck. Let me grab this. <clears throat> Interesting. And it came, it flipped out on the reverse, on the deck. It's the Nine of Swords in the reverse. Sharks, tiburones. <coughs> All right, what I love about this, guys, is the angel of the ocean is here. Temperance, healing, okay? Some of you are coming out of a difficult situation. All right, the encouragement message is don't stress out about anything. Don't worry, there's no need to panic, there's no need to freak out about anything. Maybe you're on the verge of uh, some huge change. Maybe you're on the brink of something and You've been, I don't know, maybe over the holidays or just recently you've been kind of stressing out or you've been worrying, you've been uh, losing sleep over something. This is breaking the cycle this week, all right? Faith over fear, guys. You don't have to give in to so much worry, to so much anxiety with things because God's going to take care of everything, all right? I know when I came back here after my flight was canceled, I got stuck in Virginia for a couple more days. <clears throat> I came here, I'm like, I'm backed up with stuff. I got client readings to do and all this stuff that my guides and God told me, I was gonna change up the channel, I'm gonna do all these other new things. And I said, what am I gonna do? It's a lot, I have to do this and I'm backed up already and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, nope, I'm not going to get here. I'm going to be at peace and I'm going to be in the flow. This is in the flow with the healing. With temperance here, this is you being in the flow. Do what works for you guys, okay? Do not allow anyone to kind of push stuff on you and freak you out and say, hey, you're supposed to be doing this and this is going on, that's going on. Relax, okay? 
And this is kind of interesting because I was telling some people, I just came back from vacation. I need a vacation from a vacation, right? I was helping out my grandparents who were elderly. They were in wheelchairs and I, we had our flight canceled and we had to go back to my sister's house, spend all this money on extra transportation. And I'm like, I gotta be doing my mission work when I get back. And I just said, I gotta go with the flow because this is happening for a reason. I can't allow myself to freak out, okay? This week, you guys, you have more power than you think you do to take control of your situation, especially mentally, spiritually, emotionally, physically, all right? Don't let the devil get the best of you because what happens is the devil likes to creep in. Once you start, your vibration starts to dip and you're coming back from the holidays, there's holidays after stress, what burnout, whatever this is, Oh my God, I got all this stuff. I got to get back to the grind. I got to get back to work. I got the kids go back to school. Chill out. You need to chill out, okay? There's no need in getting hung up over shit. I've got all this stuff going on. That's what happened to me. I said, you know what, God? Let me be at peace. I had other messages on YouTube telling me today, go with the flow. Because I got all these amazing ideas and I was excited about doing all this stuff. And my guides were like, even my divine masculine, telepathically, go watch the game, Jess. Go enjoy it. I had my hat, my jersey. I made breakfast for me, my son, a huge breakfast. My son's still recovering from being sick. He has a cold. Um, we're watching the game. He goes off to do his thing. I continue watching the game and I'm enjoying myself. And it's towards the end of the day already. It's past four o'clock as I'm recording this. And I'm excited because I was able to watch that game, okay? And finally have my Merino jersey on, which I love. And my, I was infatuated with Merino for so many years as a kid, it's not even funny. And what was awesome is that he was at the game today and they were showing him and I just got even more excited because I'm wearing his jersey. But anyway, it helped me to let go of what I know is coming for me and all the changes that I'm doing with business, with, with, with the channel and other things. Um, the, the client work that I had that I got booked before I went on my trip, that type of thing. Um, you're being encouraged to find what works for you because with this angel of the ocean here, with this healing card, this is you finding that magical elixir to life. What brings you to a state of peace? What allows you to be in that flow, okay? You guys got a lot going on. Maybe there's a lot of plans. Like I was talking about with myself, there's this, oh my gosh, everything's going back, going back to reality, right? It's the 3D world reality. It's not your reality, okay? You create your reality because you're the magician. And this has the energy of the magician in it. What did I just pick up? Two of Pentacles. There's a turtle there. Options. You have the choice. <laughs> you can freak out or you can't freak out. You can allow yourself to get stressed out or not. Nobody's forcing you into a corner. Nobody's telling you, hey, so-and-so, you have to be stressed out. You have to do all this stuff. You don't. Now, yes, we have responsibilities. We have obligations in a sense, right? Responsibilities, yes. There are things that we have to take care of but nobody said to you that you had to do everything now, okay? It's hard for a lot of us. I know it's hard for me, especially with everything that I wanna do. I'm excited about my new projects. I had this massive epiphany about this soul growth method that God wants me to do, and I'm like, how am I going to create this? One day at a time, guys. One day at a time, okay? You are being asked to not freak out about anything. Do things of a healing nature, do spiritual practices, take the sea salt baths, take the long walks, be out in nature, okay? Go watch the rest of the football games or something, I don't know. Listen to music and just lie down and chill out. Because again, you have the choice. Juggling around a lot of things. It's like, oh my God, I got all this shit to do. And some of you feel like you're backed up because all this stuff happened in the holidays. Maybe stuff didn't happen in the holidays and you're like, oh my God, what am I gonna do now? I feel specific people as I'm talking about this message. But again, you have the choice to be stressed out or not. 
If you want to take an extra day off, if you want to just, you know, you know what, let me do some work here today and spend the time the rest of the day chilling out. Go with the flow. Let me see what God's going to bring into my life. Let me just see what happens, right? I was planning to do other stuff today and to do readings. And the next thing you know, I was like, I got to go watch the Dolphins game. And again, it was fantastic that I did. It was an amazing win. And I was praying for miracles and I got my miracle today. And it's like, this is my Miracle Merino shirt. So, you know, I'm glad that I watched it. And then I was encouraged to do this message, right? And I let all that worry go. I was just going with the flow, watching the freaking game and having my breakfast and talking with my son and everything like that. Even though I got a lot to do, my guides put a lot more on my plate, right? Juggling around a lot of things, you got a lot of things to do. But they were also telling me, remember just what is important. My health is important. My mental state is important. My well-being is important. Making sure my son's taken care of 11-11 as I say that is important. Me being balanced in a state of peace is important because without that peace, there is disruption, there is chaos, you make mistakes. It leads to more anxiety, it leads to more stress, it leads to more worry. The devil likes us to be in this nine of swords energy because what does that do? It lowers our vibration. It brings us out of equilibrium, equilibrium, which is what this is. It brings us out of a state of tranquility. It brings us away from God. When we get into this, because this ties into the 3D world, all the responsibilities of the 3D world. And again, as I said, we do have those things, but we have the choice as to what we're gonna do right now and what we don't have to do. We don't have to do it all. We're not jugglers here in a circus, okay? If we gotta let a ball drop, <laughs> we let a ball drop. But you've gotta use discernment as to what ball's dropping, okay? <laughs> you mean my dirty mind. Um, <clears throat> But again, you have a lot of support from the angelic realm, from your guys, from your angels, from the universe. You gotta meditate more. You really gotta start doing more practices, guys, on getting you out of this crazy, anxious energy, okay? Well, look, it came out in the reverse. This is breaking the cycle. This is an opportune time for you to start learning how to maintain balance in your life. Balancing masculine and feminine energies, achieving a sacred state of balance, achieving this level of peace where no matter what the hell happens in your life, you don't end up in this energy. Hopelessness and despair and like, oh my God, what am I going to do? Some of you have been losing sleep. You've been crying over things. You've been like, oh my God, I'm so stressed out. Write down a list of all the things you're stressing out about and start crossing off what doesn't need to be done right now. Set a plan, work things out, do things in pairs. I don't know, you work it out, you talk to God, you pray about it. You can consult me if you need to. Hey Jess, I need help in like prioritizing things because when I see two of pentacles, that tells me that some of you don't prioritize yourself first. You're putting other people in front of you, okay? You're, you're, you're not choosing you as an option. Which for some of you, it's causing this. All right? There's something about money here. Money coming in, money going out. Oh my God, I have all this money. Now all this money went out. It's what happened to me when I was on vacation. I did great for the month of the summer and all this, all their expenses came out of nowhere. I'm like, okay, I gotta be in the flow. I gotta trust what God is doing. I cannot worry about the money, the financial aspect of this. I just gotta keep moving forward. Right? And that takes some work, guys. It took me years to get to that state of peace, even with the whole financial thing. Even, you know, when this starts to creep in a little bit. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I am getting to a mental state of peace. It starts with the mind because this is the mind, guys. Okay? Nine of swords. Swords are about mental, your mental state. Um, I'm hearing somebody, somebody here could have like a, 
mental illness or somebody's coming out of a mental illness which is fantastic here the angels are supporting whoever this is whether it's you or somebody that you know with getting out of this this mental despair this mental illness energy or you're working more towards that um, but there are those of you who are um, you you're being encouraged to start looking at what causes you to freak out to stress out to to cause this mental chaos in your mind okay because this is like your thoughts are so out there it your mind is is is, is going a million miles a minute you have no clarity you have no thought process it's all about worry and stress it's like all these things i have to do this 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 and this oh my god oh my god, oh my god. what if woulda coulda shoulda i shouldn't have done this i should have done that i should have done this instead of whatever you see what i'm getting at because i'm feeling it for some of you and it's wreaking havoc on your brain which is also wreaking havoc on your mental state your physical state your emotional state your spiritual state it's not necessary because again you have a choice and what i just heard is not today satan because as I said, when this creeps up in your mind and everything starts to fall apart, really dark thoughts, okay? Really a lot of negative thinking, that's the devil getting to you because he can get to here. He can't really get to here. God speaks to you to here most of the time, not necessarily through here. And when you've got all this crazy shit going up on here, that's the devil trying to get you to be off balance. Because we are not in a state of peace and balance, you can't attract what it is you're trying to manifest. You can't attract more tranquil, peaceful, divine things into your life. You're in total despair, which causes you to lose faith in God. The fear kicks in, and that's where the devil's got you by the balls. And he puts all this stuff in your head get you off course where you're not calibrated there's no equilibrium there and then that ties into the 3d world shit right you got to have faith over fear but at that same time it's more of like you need to get back to a state of peace be very careful with this energy you're being asked to break this cycle once and for all before it gets worse you're one sword away from the ten of swords if you don't break this now you got to release that mental anguish you got to find peace in the chaos okay um, There's also an energy here. Someone has been wishy-washy. Someone's been going back and forth on wanting to do something. Making an offer, starting a new job, leaving a job. Because it's money, it's pentacles. Changing, transitioning to something new. This is all about being adaptable to change, okay? Somebody's choosing to do what's right for them. They're choosing something that's gonna bring them more peace into their life. And whoever this is for, whether it's you or somebody else that you're dealing with. Because remember, whatever I'm picking up on, it, you could be dealing with your mother, your father, sister, brother, your counterpart. It could be anybody that you could be picking this up from. I could be picking this up. Or the energy surrounding you. But it looks like somebody's making a choice here to be in a state of peace. It's like someone's always been worrying and freaking out about stuff. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. I can't believe I didn't do this. I did that. And this is hopeless. It's only hopeless if you believe it's hopeless. So somebody here is deciding, um, like, you know what? I'm just gonna go through with it. I'm gonna make that decision. I'm gonna make that choice. Yeah, I have options, but I'm choosing the option that brings me healing, that brings me tranquility, that brings me balance here. This is also divine timing. It's divine timing for somebody to make it a choice here and to stop oscillating between the two options. I'm hearing something about the truth will set you free here. Maybe somebody's choosing to speak their truth. They're choosing the right thing for them, the right thing to do. And this is called, it was causing a lot of really a lot of mental anguish here. Someone who was really anxious about something really um, like 
stressed to the max about it. <clears throat> but it's divine timing for, for a lot of you to break this once and for all. This is the time is now to do this. You're gonna find better ways to ease this stress, to ease the fear and the worry, especially about money, especially about people, especially about your your mental state, your health, something about weight for somebody. Um, you gotta get out of this. Because I will tell you, 2023 is gonna be a massive, phenomenal year for a lot of us. But for those of you who allow yourself to be controlled by the devil and allow the devil to control your thoughts, allow the devil to put all this chaos and stress and strife into your life, it's gonna get worse bottom line because there are going to be some very challenging things going on this year especially astrologically for the entire planet so you best be on your game and you you better start working towards this clearing this out it's like there's a breakthrough here with realizing I can't be in this type of life anymore You, this is the year to really work on your healing. A lot of you, a lot of you really working on being in a peaceful state. Because I'm getting for some of you, 2022 was full of like stress level to the max. You had a lot of fear about a lot of shit. A lot of things were just causing you to just lose it. Especially mentally. For some of you, there's been a lot of health issues and there's been sleeping issues for a lot. Bags under the eyes. Maybe some of you were drinking because she's got two cups in her hand. Um, Sagittarius energy, which is temperance, it's all about higher learning. It's all about spirituality. It's all about, you know, what, what am I going to do to get myself to uh, be closer to God, to be one, to be more at peace here? When you have no worries and fears about anything, when you know that God's got it, you have all the peace in the world. It's exactly what I've been through. Like when my parent, my, my grandparents, when they canceled our flight, and it's like, okay, we gotta go back to my sister's house. And we couldn't fly out till two days later. The last thing I wanted to do was to freak the fuck out. That wasn't gonna help me, my son, my grandparents. No, I'm like, you know what? This is what God wants. I'm just gonna go with the flow. If I gotta get there two days later, there's a reason for it. I, I had uh, a message come to me that I, uh, with that flight, I uh, avoided a disaster. What was the other term that I got? I dodged a bullet. That was huge for me. Because apparently, me, my son, and my grandparents were not supposed to be on that flight that day, okay? So when things don't go your way and things are like that onset of anxiety is kicking in, you got to nip it in the butt. But it looks like you guys are realizing that you can't go into 2023 and it's 23 minutes as I'm saying this. With this type of lifestyle, guys, can't. Some of you, you got to watch it because your health is at stake here and you know it. Hang man, Pisces is coming up in here. Limbo. Not knowing what to do. Being stuck. I don't, there's no way out. I don't know what I'm going to do. This situation is causing, is wreaking havoc on my brain. It's wreaking havoc in my life. No, it's not. You know what the hangman means, guys? It means you put yourself in that stuck situation. This is also equilibrium. It's balance here. He's just pause. Take a time out. You're not stuck. This is self-imposed stuckness if that even exists. You need to really get to center here. Look at this from a different angle. And like I said, choices. What am I, what ball am I going to drop? What am I going to stop doing that is not for my highest good? The higher learning, the Sagittarius energy. What is not going to work for me? What is going, what is disrupting my inner peace? What is causing me to be off balance? Write it down. 
And if it if you if it hits you in the gut, it, it says so and so. You need to get this, cross this off your list. You need to get this out of your life. You listen to your intuition and you do it. You've really got to take a moment to take a break here. Take a time out. Stop for a minute and think about what you are doing. Think about why you tend to have an issue with this. Why you tend to allow yourself to freak out. And for some of you, there is a lack of faith in God. And all you need is faith side is the mustard seed. But let me tell you, this is not easy to do. It took me years to be in a state of peace. And with everything that happened to me in 2022, other people would have committed suicide. Other people would have just gone into drugs and drinking and pills and God knows what else. Would have been like in a, almost like in a coma state. I'm not, whatever, I can't deal with this shit. That's when you've totally just given your life to devil energy. That's the way I look at it. You have the ability to get out of this hanged man energy. Stop hanging around and make that decision. Remember, you have the option. What are you gonna do? Peace or stress? Nobody's forcing it upon you. Nobody. What I'm getting is that for some of you, the devil's just trying to get it. Because some of you, you're susceptible to this type of very dark energy. And when you don't allow yourself to get out of there, you don't take pauses. You don't take timeouts. You don't just stop for a minute. Just uh, let me think about this for a minute. What am I doing that is not helpful for my well-being? When you don't stop and you don't think about this... You don't look at it from a different perspective. That's when the devil wants to come in and he just gets in here and it tends to be all over for some of you. Don't let that happen. But yes, yeah, somebody has been thinking long and hard about what decision to make. This is also going with the flow, guys. Whatever choice you make, Whatever it is that you know you need to drop, what you need to prioritize more in 2023, not just this week, it's for the whole year, for the rest of your life, okay? Trust in those decisions. You've got to really surrender to God with this hangman energy. Let go and let God, okay? There's also energy with this hangman, um, Either somebody is going to help you out with something, could be very well helping you with your healing, helping you bring this uh, more uh, state of balance and tranquility, because maybe you know somebody, all this shit has been happening to them, and they don't get like this. They're this. Could very well be me, right? Whether it's me or somebody you've been witnessing, watching, following, how are they not stressed out about this? How are they not freaking out? How are they getting the sleep that they're getting? How are they not getting into this anxious, worry, fear energy? This could very well be like somebody helping you out with something on how to bring more balance into your life, how to surrender to God, how to not give in to that fear. I'm telling you guys, it takes time, but you can get there, okay? So either somebody's helping you with this or you're being asked to seek help for that. Um, or this is somebody here wanting to come in and kind of bring balance to a situation. This is two becoming one. It looks like the higher ups, the divine here, because these are major arcanas at the bottom of the deck and at the top. You have a lot of support from God here, from your angels. 
excuse me, that was a release. But I don't think it was mine, it was somebody else's, it was what I was just told. Anyway. Um, you're being greatly supported with this, but you've got to give this to God, period. Okay? You gotta give this to God. And you've got to take more breaks here. You've got to take more time out in your life going forward. Because when shit really hits the fan, you're going to be in the state of flow. This is double the flow here. And you're letting letting go, letting God, okay, God, this is on, this is you. This is you right now. Just let me be in the state of flow and peace. Let me just carry on with my life and not worry about this. I'm telling you guys, nobody really thinks about having a tremendous amount of peace in their lives, the abundance of peace. Nobody really talks about it. Everybody wants love and money and, 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 and successful careers. And when you don't have peace, you don't have nothing. When without that peace, you don't have God, you really don't have anything. Okay? <clears throat> But I do get someone here is um, with this. This is it's the twin flame angel, by the way, for those of you who don't know. Um, airplane. Maybe somebody's traveling. Maybe somebody just came back from travel like I did. Somebody wants to move, I heard. Things are going to be moving quickly for some of you. Now, with this two becoming one, there is a uh, union here. What's happening is this twin flame angel is now bringing balance to a connection because it's time. And what's happening is I'm getting like the divine masculine here is getting finally getting out of this like worrisome energy. They're putting away that fear. It's like locking up in a box and they're having a lot more faith in God because they're like, I'm causing myself to be stuck. I'm causing myself to freak out about this, whatever this is. I cannot worry about the choice that I've made, what I'm going to do next. So it's like this divine masculine is getting out of this really, these dark negative thoughts. I did, oh God, I did pick up on suicidal thoughts for somebody. It's like the angels came in to save this person's life or, and or the divine feminine's light helped this masculine to save their life with regards to this really dark energy of despair um, and pulling them out of it, breaking that cycle of not worrying about what was done in the past with the feminine. This could even be with somebody else, okay? It doesn't have to be with the feminine. Worrying, uh, again, what it could have showed us, the what ifs. What if she doesn't take me back? What if, if this, we can't heal together? What if this turns out to be a disaster? <coughs> This is why for somebody, the Divine Masculine has been getting hung up. They haven't been making a move because of this. Of the worry, despair, the stress, the anxiety of, of worrying about the past and worrying about the future instead of being in the present moment, instead of surrendering to God. <coughs> and now I'm coughing a lot because the throat chakra issues. There's something about making that choice. I, I'd say I said something about speaking the truth because this is air communication okay so but somebody here is being incredibly supported by the divine which the divine is always supporting us we just gotta allow for that we gotta allow for God to come in to break us out of this crazy cycle and if you guys didn't see it it says anxiety at the bottom of the card so it looks like this twin flame angels now coming in to like really bring some equilibrium back into the connection because there's not only supporting the masculine with this dark energy here with what was done in the past and what they're about to do they're also helping bring more balance to connection itself it's not just with the masculine because the feminine here i'm getting is already in her state of peace which is why it's so important for them for the feminine to be here indefinitely Because when the masculine, when the feminine's all freaked out, 
they're in panic mode, they're in despair, they're just like, oh my God, what's going on? My life is over. Do you think that's gonna help the masculine? Nope. So there are a couple of feminines here. If you've been in the flow, you've been like trusting in divine timing and allowing God to do his work and you releasing the outcome. You not freaking out about whether your masculine is coming back, whether they're going to contact you, whether you're going to be together, right? This is two becoming one, whether that union's going to happen. You're not worrying about jack shit. You've got no stress in your life. It, it's possible because I am living it right now. It's freaking possible. You have no idea because if I can get to this place, you can do the same. So when a feminine is in complete sacred balance here. Masculine feminine energies are here. Not here, not here. That helps the masculine to be in a state of peace too. It helps them to break the cycle and it helps them to stop being in the stuck energy. Like, I don't, I don't wanna get out of this tree. I don't wanna move. I don't know what to do. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what's gonna happen when I come back to the feminine type of energy. This is removing yourself from the chaos and bringing yourself to a state of peace so you can get clarity of thoughts, so you can have those epiphanies. Bing! God gives you the idea. That's what happened to me freaking this morning. Idea, idea, just this, 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 that, all these, these things. I was like, wow, where is this all coming from? I got bombarded with epiphanies this morning. That's what happens when you're in a state of flow and you're in a state of peace and you give it to God and you let God dictate your life, okay? And he gives you the solutions to those answers that you can't come up with on your own logically because your brain does not have the capacity to think straight, okay? Well, they said to look after, look what's at the top of the deck underneath the hangman. There's the king of swords. I said something about speaking your truth with honesty and integrity. Somebody is getting ready to like, <sighs> I see them, ooh, sighing. Somebody's meditating. Somebody's taking sea salt bath. Somebody's going to a counselor. Somebody's going to like, uh, what's that thing called? Taking yoga even? <clears throat> Ambition. Someone's letting go and letting God and just saying, you know what? I got to speak my peace. I got to choose the path of truth. I said the truth will set you free. This is exactly what he lives by because without that integrity, without that truth, he's in a state of despair. Think about it. You're living a lie. You're, you're denying. You're in denial. You are not being honest with yourself and you're allowing yourself to just, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. That's not healthy. It's not. When you're not living a path of truth, when you're not realizing, again, I really need to change something up, it gets worse. But there is somebody who's realizing the truth is everything. Being worried about when they come in to say exactly what they need to say, to say everything and put all their cards out on the table. And to not freak out about the emotional state of what will happen when that truth is spoken. This person is not afraid of their heart being broken or being disappointed when that truth comes out. Very mentally strong, very decisive. He's in his place. There's this rigidity to this King of Swords, but he's not in a shadow rigidity type of energy. There's Gemma Libra Aquarius with this. And Mars is still retrograde in Gemini. As I'm doing this, so it's having clarity of thought, focus, mastering focus and truth and integrity. Again, the mental state is everything here. Um, 
It's putting some logic into things and not letting the emotions get the best of him either. But there is somebody who's been kind of hanging around, waiting to speak their truth, waiting to communicate and not worried about what's gonna happen when they communicate. Somebody is breaking that cycle. Could very well be this week, okay? At the end of the day, this has gotta be broken. No more anxiety, no more stress, no more worry about anything, okay? This is the time to do it, people. You've got this. You have so much support from God, from your angels. You just don't know. You've got to ask them for the help, for the guidance, or ask them to bring somebody to you to help you with this. Angels can't help you if you don't ask. God's not going to help you either if you don't ask. It, it, it's, it's a team effort here, guys, okay? So, there's your encouraging message for my first one of the year. It's a big one. All right. Release, relax, okay? Start working towards being in a state of peace this year and for the rest of your life. Before it gets worse, okay? Some of you, you're already having health issues with this. You gotta nip it in the bud, all right? King of Swords, nip it in the bud. I, I gotta take care of this shit right now, okay? All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Uh, love you, bye. <laughs>